Hey, it's Brian from Wasatch Lasercraft. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use the Lightburn library. First of all, if you've never used it before, uh, you can make sure that it's visible right here under Window Library, and that'll put it in one of these panels in your library. If you've never used it before, this is going to be empty when you first create it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to save these settings that I've used. Say I've got a cut setting and an engrave setting or a score setting, excuse me, that I want to save for later. Um, all I have to do is select my layer and down here in the library, hit create new from layer, name my material. Uh, this is a cut setting, so thickness matters. I'm going to enter my thickness. Uh, and by the way, um, when you save it, your millimeter or your inch setting is going to apply here. And so uh, if you measure your material in millimeters, make sure you have that set. I'm just going to say 0.125 inches, and I'm just going to call it cut through. You can get descriptive, you can get creative, or you can just stick with cut and score if you like. And I'm going to click OK. That is going to save a new setting into my library. Um, now before I use it, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save this one as well. And I'll show you. So I've select my layer. This one is a score layer. And when I click Create New from Layer, um, those same settings are going to be there from the last one. But for this one, because it doesn't matter how thick a material is, when I score it, I'm going to choose no thickness. I'm going to call this one score. And I have saved these two settings. Um, now, let's say I have a, uh, a red shape here that I want to apply my setting to. Um, this is really easy. I need to make sure that my setting, my layer is selected. And then down here I can select a layer, say I want to cut that red rectangle. I select my setting I want to use and click Assign to Layer. Um, now while we're talking about it, um, it's also useful to know what these two arrows right here do which these are essentially copy and paste. The arrows aren't very descriptive, but if I click the right arrow with one setting, uh, one layer selected, it's going to copy the settings from that layer. And then when I select another layer and click the left arrow, it will paste those settings into that layer. So you can see how that changed. I'm going to undo it. Um, so that is how you create your first library. Then to save this file, I'm going to click Save As if I've never saved it before. I just saved this a second ago and messed up the recording. Save it as demo.clb. And then my library is saved. OK, now uh, let's say I want to load a different library. Maybe you've downloaded a library. You can click Load. This one is my actual library, it's called My Cuts. And when I open it, I'm going to see all of my cut settings here. And I can use that to find the setting that I want and apply it just like I showed you before. This is really helpful so that you can uh, separate your settings that you have tried and tested from other libraries that maybe you found online. If you'd like to download a library file to get you started, I know that Thunder Laser publishes some on their website, and OM Tech publishes some settings that I've turned into a set of uh, settings files. And if you want those, you can grab them from my website, wasatchlasercraft.com, under Laser Resources. Uh, yeah, and I hope this has been helpful for you.